Okay, folks, this is a video response to Smoky Goodness for Halsey's Kitchen, the tribute video. Um, Halsey's a guy that we all miss and uh, admired. He was a great guy, and I can't say enough about him. Okay, folks, so this was um, this is a combination of two of his videos, a pizza video, which he had a few, and he one of his last videos was this tomato bite video, which I told him he was a genius, I believe. And uh, it was one of the last times I talked to him. And uh, anyways, you can go to it, find out. You can read the uh, interaction back and forth. Anyways, it was a great video. So I'm going to combine this with a pizza, put my own twist on it. Halsey was a really talented guy. Really, um, everyone admired him. He was didn't have a mean bone in his body. He was a good-spirited guy. He was uh, very thoughtful and... Just a top-notch guy. You could not think of a better friend. Anyways, let's let's get it on here, folks. Hold that ash. Mm -hmm. We got our pizza dough here in an oil pan. We grated some fresh Romano ash, right? Mm -hmm. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna grate a little bit of uh, fresh mozzarella around there, like so. Can you see that ash? Mm -hmm. That's cool. And you know, talking about the pepper mill. I um, I actually don't have a pepper mill myself, so I'm doing this for two reasons. One, I don't have a pep pepper mill, and mainly because Halsey was such an awesome guy. But generally, can you see that though? Mm -hmm. I just grind my peppers in the uh, pepper, yeah, not in the pepper mill, in the blender actually. If you noticed on a few, on like 20 of my first videos, I had the the uh, pepper shake and I was grinding, and nothing was coming out. I was kind of doing it as a joke to see who would notice it, and no one ever noticed that there was no pepper coming out. Then I, then I actually throw some pepper on it like that afterwards. And, and anyways, it's funny. Anyways, uh, let's get on with the uh, dish here. All right, so we'll get some of that on there. We're gonna take uh, tomatoes, Ash, huh? Mm -hmm. Which way should we cut them? He cut them this way, I think. Right, Ash? Mm -hmm. And what we'll do is we'll cut a chunk of uh, we'll chunk out some of this mozzarella, and I think we'll put that down, Ash, like that. We'll kind of make them a little flatter than that. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we'll just line it like that, and then we'll put the uh, these on top like that with some basil, Ash. What do you think? Yeah, that's good. I think that'll work, huh? Mm -hmm. That'll be cool. We'll just line them up like. Okay, Ash, we got all those on. Now we'll cut our tomatoes in half and put them over, over the top, top like that. You can, mm -hmm. I guess, do it either way. You could put the tomato. I think it kind of looks cool like this, actually. Yeah. All right, folks, we decided to change that up a little because you know that'll help keep the um, basil from burning. You know what I'm saying, Ash? Right? Mm -hmm. So let's switch that up. We'll put the cheese on top of the basil. Should have thought of that before, but hey. Doesn't matter. That's cool, Ash, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll slice the rest of our tomatoes, get them on top. Okay, Ash, you got that? That, look, that mm -hmm. actually looks pretty cool, doesn't it, Ash? Yeah. All right, now I'm just gonna grate up some of the fresh oregano. Not grate it, but I'm just gonna kinda sprinkle it all over the top, like so. Man, that is looking cool. That's like one of the coolest pieces I think I've ever made, Ash. Mm -hmm. Huh? Does that look cool or what? Yeah. Very. Very cool. I wish I had the fresh um, tomatoes, but we don't have the tomatoes yet. If you want tomatoes, go see MHP Gardener. He's got fresh tomatoes. <laughs> right, Ash? Yeah. He's got everything good. Mm -hmm. But uh, anyway, so, yeah, Halsey, uh, we'll never forget him. I'll tell you that. Fresh oil over the top, guys. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, let's get it over to the... That looks cool, Ash, look at that. Okay, on top of the burner, four minutes, of, two minutes in the middle, and a minute on each side. I'm gonna lift this up and move it over. Then we're gonna put it in a 500 degree oven for 10 minutes. See you in a few minutes, guys. So while the pizza's in the oven, we just made our little dipping sauce here, mm -hmm. which consists of olive oil, yeah. balsamic vinegar, basil, and 
fresh oregano. We'll just mix that up. Then um, we can cut up the pizza. We can uh, just drizzle a little bit of this on our slice, Ash, right? Mm -hmm. I think that stays in the same theme, right, Ash? Yep. Cool. Okay, let's give that a shot. We'll uh, wait for the pizza to come out. That is a sweet looking pizza, folks. That looks awesome. Can you see it, Ash? Mm -hmm. Oh man, it's perfectly crusty underneath, too. Crispy, crusty. I think I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of grated fresh Romano. Okay, and that's just gonna slowly melt. On the end, let's uh, cut it up, Ash, huh? Mm -hmm. We'll cut it up into little bite sized pieces, I guess. Little squares. Yep. Like it was meant to be, I guess. And then we'll cut them like this. I don't know if you can hear that crunch. It's crunching all the way through. So it is pretty cool. Yep. That is awesome. <laughs> Look at that. See it standing on its own two feet, Ash? Mm-hmm. Yowza, that's hot. Cool. How's it look, Ash? Cool? Mm hmm Let's get a few pieces over here. Looks awesome, I gotta admit. Halsey had one hack of an imagination, let me tell you. This plate's for you, Halsey, right here, buddy. Rest in peace, buddy. Enjoy, folks. Ash, can you see it under the light? Get a mm -hmm. zoom, zoom on it. On this one right here. Mm -hmm. Cool? Mm -hmm. All right, Ash, let's taste it. Mm 